Hey everybody. We're gonna start with squats and I'll go through what we're gonna do. So today is gonna be a little bit more low impact. So if you'd like to do more cardio, um, I'll give you options in between uh, our uh, strength slash uh, low impact circuits um, that you can get your heart rate up a little bit if you'd like to. So I will not participate in that, but um, just an option if you'd like to increase your heart rate a little bit. So, um, and then back lunge, raise your arms up as you step back. Nice long stride, driving up into the heels. And then feet wide, we'll go side to side. Ankle circles. And for the workout today, you'll need a resistance band and like a booty band if you have it. It's okay if you don't have any of the equipment, you can still do the same movements, just body weight. Um, so a resistance band and then a pair of dumbbells. If you have a lighter pair as an option as well, that would be helpful. Um, again, using water bottles or cans, anything that can um, add a little bit of weight to your exercise. And we'll switch sides. Once you've done both sides, we'll bring it up for high knees, either marching in place or you can jump it up. <clears throat> and then butt kickers, heels to butt. Engage your hamstrings as you stretch into your quads. Jumping jacks, I'm gonna modify here. Good, and then we're gonna come down onto hands and knees. We're gonna go for cat cow. So inhale, extend your chest forward, and then exhale as you round. Just getting the spine moving. Then coming to neutral, inhale, lengthen your right arm forward, left leg back, and then exhale, hug it in, elbow to knee. We'll go for five per side. Five, we'll switch. That's five, knees wide, toes to touch. Send your hips back for child's pose. One big breath in the back body. And then exhale, walk your hands over to the right, open the left side body. Few breaths here. And then start to walk your hands through center over towards the other side as you open through your right side body. And walk back to center, rise up. And then flex your toes under, press back, downward facing dog. And you'll just begin to pedal your feet back and forth, lengthen through calves, hamstrings. And then slowly walk back towards your feet or forward towards your hands and start to roll up one vertebrae at a time until your head is last to rise. And start to roll your shoulders down and back, open through your chest. Circle into your arms, into your wrists. We'll shake out here. Okay, we'll leave it there for the warm up. So what we're gonna do uh, is we're going for a little Tabata interval. So it's gonna be 10 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of work. And we have six total sets. So, um, back a little bit. So six total sets. It'll be either two or three rounds, depending on what we're doing. Um, so we're going to start with upper body, 
and you're gonna grab a little bit heavier dumbbells if you have them. We're doing external rotations with an isometric hold and then bicep curls. So what that looks like, palms are gonna face up, elbows into the torso and at 90 degrees, and then you're gonna externally rotate your forearms out and back in. So you're really feeling your biceps hold this as well as your shoulders, your rotators to bring it in and out. That's the first exercise. Then the second exercise is just basic bicep curls, okay? So palms face in to start, and then you'll start to turn your palms up towards the shoulders as you curl up, and just rotating back and forth uh, between those two positions, okay? So again, it's 10 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of work. We're gonna go three uh, times each set. That's where we're gonna start. And again, if you'd like to play music, you can use Spotify, Spotify or whatever you got. It'll be a silent workout for me, but hopefully a little more fun for you. All right, so we have 10 seconds here and we're starting with the external rotations. So I'll face this way so you can see it from the side. Feet hip width distance apart. And go. External rotations. Think about drawing the shoulder blades together as you bring your arms out. Elbows stay close. Relax the neck and shoulders. Shake out. I've got bicep curls next. And go. Breathe. Try not to rock back and forth. If you notice you're building momentum, ground it into your feet, bend your knees. Control. And time. Back to external rotations. Shoulders hooked down and back. And go. Last set for each. Bang. External rotations.
Awesome work. We'll shake out. Now we're going for lower body. So you're gonna to wanna to grab your booty band. So, um, for the first one, we're gonna do glute kickback and then kneeling abductions. So, what that looks like, so you're gonna put the band above, or right on your knees, cause you wanna have an anchor point for the band. So you're gonna come onto the, um, so you want a cushion, if you have a mat, you can double it up, or if you're on a carpet, that's better. You just want something that's supportive for your knees. Um, so, coming onto the knees, and then again, your booty band is wrapped around, I think you can see, yeah, um, wrapped underneath the knee, okay? And then I like to go on my elbows, so you're gonna come onto your elbows, and then from here, you're gonna lift one leg, still making sure that the band is anchored underneath the knee that's planted, and then you're kicking your heel up towards the sky. So big squeeze into your glutes, you focus on hamstrings, and you just press that heel up towards the sky and lift and try not to arch into your back. So you really wanna isolate the movement just into the leg without movement into the pelvis, into the hip, okay? Um, so with that said, absolutely fine to do this without any band at all. Um, just as beneficial and it can burn just as much. So uh, just a little side note there. Second exercise, so we'll do both sides, right, left, and then the second exercise is going to be, you're gonna bring the band around the ankles and then you're still in this kneeling position. You'll come onto your hands and then just bring your knees a little wider than hip width distance. And then you're gonna actually rotate your feet, tap the toes and then control it back in, tap the toes. So it goes out, in, out, in, okay? So you're kind of, think about your femur bones, just uh, rotating, twisting back and forth into the hip socket as you bring the uh, feet out, okay? Really press up and away through your neck and shoulders. Um, okay, so that's it, we'll get started. Same thing, it's gonna be um, 10 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of work, and six total rounds, two for each, okay? So 10 seconds here, we're gonna start with the glute kickback all on one side. Coming onto your elbows, and go. You wanna make sure that your uh, hips are right over the knee that's kneeling. And then press up and away through your shoulders. Good. Engage your core. That's time. We'll switch. So bring it underneath the other knee. And go. Focus on breathing. You don't want to force the leg up super high. You just want to go as high as your body will allow without losing form. That's time. All right, now boot again goes around the ankles. Come onto your hands and knees and go. Externally rotate and bring it back in. Hip stack over the knees. And it's just a tap in and a tap out. You really want to control the motion in. Don't let the band control you. That's time. Booty band comes above the knees. Back to the boot kickback. And go. One more set of everything. That's 
time. Switch sides, anchor the band underneath your other knee. And go. Press up and away through your shoulders. Lift out of your hip with the knee that's planted, that side. Last time, booty band around the ankles. And go, hands and knees here. Upper body. So maybe grabbing a little bit lighter weight. We're working on shoulders. So we have a lateral shoulder raise, a front shoulder raise, and then a combo of coming forward, up, back, down. Okay, so I'll repeat that again. We have, we'll start with the front raise first. Okay, palms face in, thumbs up. Second exercise, lateral shoulder raise. And then third one is going to be up, forward, down, up, back, down. So we'll go two full sets through that, okay, through each exercise. So again, choosing a weight that feels good for you. This is a lot of shoulder work, so totally could do this body weight. So we have 10 seconds here. A little water if you need it. 10 seconds starts now. So we're going to start with the front raise. And go. Shoulders down and back. You're just going shoulder height parallel to the floor. face forward for this one. <laughs> and go. Rising up, shoulder height, come right back down. About parallel. You can go a little bit above if that feels okay. If you notice any popping, just stop there. Now we have the combo, palm space in towards the body, go, we'll rise up, back, down, up, forward, down. Relax the neck and shoulders. Shake out, we'll go one more set. Back to the uh, forward raise, front raise, and go. Palms face in, thumbs to the sky. So 
great gift. <clears throat> Time. Shake it out. Palms face forward. And go. Last time. Last one, shoulder raise combo. And go. And time. Awesome. All right, our last Tabata with just lower body. So grabbing the band again, and you're doing side steps first and then and if you want to add a little bit of cardio you can do low jacks instead so booty band's going to be around the ankles side steps is the first one and then the, if you want to do add, add cardio you can do low jacks instead where you're jumping in and out if that feels good for you and the second exercise you'll move the band above the knees above or right below either one and you're doing abductions on your back so lifting your hips up tuck Engage the core, and you just bring your knees in and out. Okay, so abductions here, focusing on the outer glutes. So, <clears throat> starting with side steps, booty band will, or low jacks, booty band will go around the ankles. So all 10 toes face forward, 10 seconds here. And go, side to side, tuck your hips, lead with the heel as you step out. comes above the knees. Lift your hips up. Let's do it. Bring your knees in and out. Pressing through your heels. to do low jacks for a little out of cardio. And time. On to your backs. Above the knees, and go. Lift those hips, keep them high. And time. 
Last set for both. Around the ankles. And go. Side steps or low jacks. lower isolated uh, Tabata. Now, as I'm getting ready for the uh, second set, I'm gonna set my timer, and it's gonna be one minute, and you're gonna go for burpees. So I'm not gonna do burpees, but I'll set it for one minute. And if you'd like to do burpees, to get your heart rate up a little bit, this is an option to do so here. So for burpees, starting in three, two, one, and go. One minute here. seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Awesome. All right, so now we're going to go to a circuit. So we have a upper body, lower body, and then full body. Uh, and it's going to be same thing, 10 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of work. This is our last little bit. Then we'll end with a minute of burpees. So, um, four, okay, so it's going to be, we have push-ups first. You can keep your knees down if you need to. Your hands are a little wider than shoulder width distance. Elbows come out 45 degree angle as you do a push-up. Second one is single leg bridge, all on one side, then you switch. I'm gonna do it on the terra core. Um, so if you want an elevated surface, you can use a couch, chair, ottoman, something that's uh, readily available. Um, so, but that's optional, not needed. This just feels better for me to have a little bit of an elevation there. And then the last one is gonna be a reverse lunge to a uh, one-arm press and a knee drive. So grabbing a weight that feels good for that. Um, it looks like this, I'll show you from the side here. So you can, yeah. Um, so you're gonna step back and then bring the knee up as you press up, okay? Step back, drive up into the heel, knee comes up as you press up, okay? So, we're gonna start with the push-ups. Just gonna scoot this back just a little bit. And it's a full two sets, okay? So, again, 10 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of work. We're going through it for two sets. There's no uh, other break in between the rounds. All right, so starting with push-ups. And just go as low as it feels good for you. Uh, I will be modifying a little bit here, so do what you need to for your body. We have 10 seconds. And go. 
push-ups. 30 seconds. Last time, single leg bridge, come on to your back, hug your knee in, and go all on one side, isolate hamstrings and glutes. Extend that. You can feel it in your lumbar. That's time. Then we have the reverse lunge to a one arm press. So grab your dumbbell and go. Step back. Press up as you bring your knee up. Single leg bridge. And go.
messed my timer up a little bit. So we're going to uh, the reverse lunge to one arm press. 10 seconds. And go. Switch sides. or bike abs is another option instead of burpees, feel free to do so. This is the last bit of the workout and then we are done. So one minute here, if you're doing sit-ups or bike abs, go ahead and get, get ready and get on your back. And then burpees if you'd like to add more cardio. Starting in three, two, one, and go. Focus on breathing. Ten seconds. That's time. All right, awesome work, everybody. We are all done. There's going to be um, a video, two videos of stretching. One is with the foam roller, and one is just body weight. Um, I will be using a strap in that, but you can use like a um, towel rope. Uh, tie or something that you have at home if you have it. Uh, but I'll give options more in that video. Have an amazing day. Awesome work.